My name is Ken Camaro Fritz. Thank you for all the work you're doing on the clinical trial. Uh, I've got two questions. Let me ask one of the questions first, and I'll give you my bullet points. How can we develop a countermeasure program against 20 years of NRA propaganda? Can we, for example, get 30 million bucks from Michael Bloomberg and put together a team uh, and that's organized around really uncovering and telling people what, what the NRA has done for 20 or 30 years the, underneath the tip of the iceberg and, and develop what I'm going to call a standard round against the NRA. Now, my bullet points are, I'm going to try to do these lightning rounds, so I'm going to try to get through as many I understand. As and you've already covered some, but I just, it's important to bring up the bullet points. Uh, we basically have one gun per capita in the United States. There's 310 million guns, okay? Some 30 to 40 percent of households have guns, and that number is declining, okay? So households do not demand more guns. It's a declining market. That's the reason why the NRA is pushing for these high-value $600 blocks and $1,500 bushmasters. The NRA blocks, systematically blocks, the collection of data and the analysis of data so that it can be used to create new gun safety regulations. They do it at the state and at the federal level. The, 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 the NRA sponsors a grading system, and it's based on if you support gun rights, you get an A. If you support it, if you support gun safety, you get a D. And I'm going to guess you probably have an F. Okay? And, they, and what they then do is, for all the, all the congressional candidates in the Senate and the Congress, and even in state legislatures, they gang up for me money from out of state to, 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 to. Let's just get to your question. What's that? Yeah, let's just get to your question. The third, let me just finish the last thing is that, that is often this when we're talking about clips and magazines. Those create, they convert a handgun to a high lethality handgun and a high lethality um, rifle. This is different from a Remington hunting rifle. So basically what we're trying to say with clips and magazines and assault rifles, we're trying to draw a red line. So the question was, how you know, can we put together some kind of a program so we can develop countermeasures against the NRA because they are everywhere, all over the country and in every state legislature, and we're going to have tremendous difficulty helping our Sandy Hook parents unless we do that. Well, listen, there's no, I, I won't go into details about you know my thoughts on the NRA. I'm pretty obvious where I stand on on that issue. Um, I. Um, I think that there is that, that effort happening right now. You are right that you know people like Bloomberg and Gabby Giffords have raised funds um, to try to counter some of the political influence. And you know the case that I've been making to my colleagues on this in, in Washington is that um, if you know what the right thing to do is, do it. Um, you don't have anything to fear politically. Um, in the 2012 elections in the Senate, the NRA spent money in 16 races, and they lost 13 of those races. Um, and so the, the mythology around the group that if you cross them, you're going to lose your seat is just not true. Uh, and so my, um, I think that there's a lot of members of Congress, and I've said this publicly over and over again, I think there's a lot of members of Congress who want to vote with us uh, on issues like background checks and high capacity vaccine uh, bans and, and are wavering because they worry that that's going to um, cost them uh, in support from the NRA. I just don't think that ultimately the data shows that there's um, as much to worry about on, on these issues, you know, 80% of your constituents, 90% of your constituents are going to be with you if you support universal background checks on high capacity. Uh, let me, let me start. We got it. We got to get. We got to. We got to get that. Um, and 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 you have similar, not 80%, but you have majorities of Americans that support some of these other uh, measures uh, as as well. So um, you know, it's beyond me to be able to to run a political operation outside of the United States. Uh, Senate, it's my job to advocate for change there, but I'm certainly trying to do my part. And let's, let's, I, I, I know we got to get to the questions. Why are the Democrats not supportive of the other day? That's my question. Yeah, I got it.